What is going on everyone and welcome guys to a brand new video up on the channel. That's right guys, it's Mike coming at you guys with another video and this one is completely different. Today we're going to be reacting to the Call of Duty Vanguard official Stalingrad campaign gameplay demo. This was posted and I'll show you guys really quick. This was posted by IGN. That's right guys, we got an official new look at the campaign. This is so early before the game's release even considering we only got got the trailer less than two weeks ago, we already have the official gameplay demo for one of the campaign missions. This is so exciting guys, but let's hop right into it and I'll see you guys when we're there. It looks like a World War II kind of building, you know, era building. Look at the carpet, look at the dust everywhere, looks like the building just got bombed, okay. Get home, that's the objective, okay. Thought you were home, but I guess not. Oh, military. Okay, they sound like they're speaking German. This, if you're actually controlling the character in this first mission, and this isn't all just like a cinematic. Yeah, you're controlling the character, wow. Yeah, this, this is really just beautiful. Ooh, looks like you're gonna kill him. Taking the knife, okay. Ooh, spicy spicy. Takedown. That's awesome, I love that they still have takedowns and it, it's so cool. I remember the takedowns in Call of Duty Black Ops 1, that was so exciting. Wow, look at this shotgun, guys. You can mount the gun. Oh, that is sick. Reminds me of the Brecci, just rapid fire. Oh, but it looks like they nerfed the Brecci. Oh boy, look at this reload speed. Woof. That is really cool though. They have like interactive elements on the map where you could just run through that wall. I mean, obviously it was meant for that, but that is insane. Look at the reflections as well off of the building parts. This is... This is really well done, guys. This game is gonna be crazy. And the lighting effects, they're, they're beautiful. These are really, really cool lighting effects, guys. Okay, so this is being played on what looks like a PlayStation 5, probably, based on that controller. Yeah, this looks great. If it's played on a PlayStation 5, this looks really good. And it's playing really well. Of course, they, they had to make sure this was optimized before they gave the demo, but... Wow. And you have a new sniper rifle as well. Kill the invaders, that's the objective. Whoa, no way. Oh shoot, do they still kill the people? Ooh. It looks like you do have quite a bit of recoil when you do shoot and when you also get hit, there's the flinch. Oh, back to the brecci. <laughs> oh, whoa! No way. You guys of course saw that, that was crazy. Oh, you could shoot through the wall too, that was a thick wall. Looks like maybe a, a Mosin Nagant. Okay. Speed loader, okay. Wow, guys, this is beautiful. And the running mechanics look very realistic. That guy even opened fire without looking where he was shooting. That, that made it feel very real. Oh, you're out, almost out of ammo there, bud. Four shots. I'm waiting for the next weapon they're gonna pick up. Ooh. Unless they just pick up ammo. Yeah, it looks like they're just picking up ammo. Oh, I really wish they'd picked up that MP40. That would have been so cool. I want to see what the MP40 looks like in this game. 
I want to hear the sound effects of the guns. Oh, this German child, this German soldier doesn't know what's coming for him. Oh my God, guys! I do really like the climbing effects that they have. You could just climb all over this. This makes it feel a little bit more like an Uncharted game, but in first person. Oh shoot, dude, the stealth kills are real. There's so many in this game. Oh my god. So whenever you're behind an enemy, it looks like you can stealth kill them and take them down. That's, that's really cool. And it also looks like you have kind of a, a choice on how to go about certain situations. Like, you can just let those people die. And you can completely go a separate way, or you can engage in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight with all those guys, try and take as many down as you can. That's really cool, there's multiple ways of going about this. Oh boy, no way guys, STG. Oh see, there we go, guns blazing, more Molotovs. taking quite a bit of damage though, but you, you can take quite a bit of damage it looks like in this game. Sheesh. Oh no, you got taken out. One hour earlier. It looks so peaceful and it's daytime. I like that they're showing both in this gameplay demo, night and day. Wow, that is really, really cool. So some of the players, some of the models anyway, they do move a little bit robotic. They don't move super human-like. I mean, I don't get why you're crawling through here. It looks like, it looks like this would be an area that you would want to... I mean, you're not being any stealthy. You know, you're not being crazy stealthy if you're walking around among the uh, the people here. I don't know if we're, we're going to be like German soldiers. I don't know what we're going to be in this mission. Uh-oh. Oh, they're coming. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I was expecting a big bombing right there. Just bomb everyone out of existence. But no, they didn't do that. Oh, there they go. <laughs> no, this is so cool, guys. This is so cool. Oh, oh my god. The blood splatter effects. Oh my goodness, guys. Again with the climbing, look at this. It's it, it's like Uncharted in first person still. Wow, look at this map. Crazy. Oh my god. That is so cool. So I'm imagining like you're gonna come across different elements in, in the, the, you know, along the campaign levels and everything where you're gonna know when you can interact and when you can't. And of course those bricks and stones are gonna be a pretty clear indication of when you can and can't climb out of a situation. Okay, it sounds like you're playing as a female character. Yeah, see, being able to climb out of this situation to get up. Oh, jeez. This building's crumbling in front of you, falling apart. Oh. I mean, the lighting effects are really good as well, not like... 
And it's not too monotone either, it's a pretty colorful looking map. Right into the trailer. Call of Duty, Vanguard. So cool guys, so cool. I can't wait for this game. November 5th. Pre-order now and get early access to the open beta. Digital pre-orders get Ooh. instant access to the Night Raid Master Black Ops Cold War and War. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that didn't that looked like a very, very uh futuristic weapon. That didn't look like a very World War II type weapon, but that was insane guys i cannot wait for this game call of duty vanguard hopefully when it comes out you guys can be expecting probably a lot of gameplay and if you guys want to keep the uh face cam going i could definitely do that i can definitely make more videos with the face cam but guys i'm so excited i cannot wait for this game to be coming out it's going to be coming out of course on pc xbox series x and PlayStation 5. I believe it might also be coming out on the PS4 and Xbox One, but I'm going to of course be playing it on the PC, and I think that's gonna be amazing because I have a very, very powerful gaming computer that hopefully will allow me to crank the graphics up to their maximum settings and really get the most out of it. So of course, I hope you guys did enjoy this reaction video. This is such a cool looking game, and especially I love that they're showing the gameplay footage already for one of the missions. They're showing the 2v2 and the 3v3 multiplayer gameplay, at least the reveal trailer for it, for the open beta for PlayStation 5. Guys, I can't wait, but as always, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Don't worry, I'm gonna keep doing the Clash of Clans videos, but if you guys want me to keep doing more reactions and stuff like that, definitely let me know. Also, I do apologize for the really, really harsh lighting. I gotta get that fixed because uh, I don't have anything behind me to actually, you know, cover the, uh, the sun coming in, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into another one. I'll keep doing more stuff like this if you really, really want it. As always, stay cool, guys. I love you. Later. Peace.